Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, so we're playing more Fantasy Sky. Uh, that's a pretty awesome mod pack, I'm liking it so far. Um, so, I, you know, I feel really bad about something. I went ahead and I, I hooked it all up, and even though I said that's exactly what I was going to do in between episodes, and I had a lot of fun doing it, and I wish I would have recorded it doing it, and that would have been like this episode or whatever, but I didn't. And the next time I go to hook stuff up, I'm definitely going to always make sure I do it on video because it was a really good learning process about, like, create and stuff. And I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Like, so here's the end result. We have our cakes being made. They are being delivered into um, these things here by mechanical arms. So whenever this gets low, this is going to grab one and it's going to throw it inside and it's going to feed it. So we'll start off at the uh, the reverse process here. Um, so this is where it all goes and gets squirted in for making the pies. So we'll, we'll go over here first. So we all know where the chickens were. We all know where the botany pot was. I put four more, three more to make four. Um, this goes through uh, netherrack crazy fast. So I don't know if I'm always going to mine it or whatever. So we'll see for future contents. This can only fit in. Oh, there we go. You gotta watch this because it happens pretty quick. And there it goes and up in here. <laughs> so this only holds a certain amount of items. You can only hold 16 of each as it shows up top. So every time they lay an egg, it pretty much all gets made and made into a lava um, cake right away there. One of those blaze cakes. Um, there are like 20 some chickens in here though. Like and, and you can see that there's a lot. And I figured there'd be a lot more eggs coming out but there doesn't seem to be that way i don't know why but there's still a lot of chickens and i i feel like it's a decent amount of eggs being see there's one uh went off again um yeah there's just there's another one so it's it's pretty sporadic. It's like one every like 10 seconds or 20 seconds maybe that there's an egg that comes out of this thing. So, yeah. Anyhow, that's slowly making them. And then I only have one of these being fed, even though I hooked up both sides for like symmetry look wise. Um, but I only have one of them hooked up for now. And it does about 200 seconds. So every 200 seconds, which is roughly like... Uh, three and a half minutes, uh, uh, two and a half minutes, it uses up a lava. But if I'm making them more than, say, like two, two or three before he uses another one, well then, yay, uh, I, I'm up on the game, right? So I might go back and feed them all one more time, just to get some more chicken eggs in there. Um, but I think I'm running at it. I'm running out of. Um, running out of seeds that's why i stopped i think like our seed thing is like pretty low see i only got 26 seeds um i'll leave one and i'll use these here and we'll go up here and we'll feed a few more see if we can get some more egg action here um do i have any more glass i do got glass we do all right, and then after that, I want to get into the whole crushing wheel thing and um, start uh, start making resources, man, because, like, we need resources. There you go. Let's feed all these chickens. Make lovey-dovey. Have all kinds of babies in there. I think we're good, right? I think we're now we're just making the babies grow up. Oh, whatever. Come on. Somebody else wants any? No odd person in there that wants to breed with that other one? No? All right. That's good. That's good. So we'll uh, close them off now. So that way nothing bad happens to them. Oh, there we go. Let's get rid of this. There. So now we got a lot more chickens in there. So now there's... Well... I don't know. <laughs> well over 30. So let's hopefully uh, in about 20 some minutes, the eggs will be just uh, flying out of there, right? So 
All right, so in today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, we will be going back to more create. And we'll be making more crushing wheels. And uh, we have to make... Oh, six crushing, six sets of crushing wheels, right? So let's see about the uh, andesite. How much do we have of that? We only got 23 left. So can we make lots more? I'm assuming it's just going to be a fact of this. I think I got lots of andesite. All right, so that should be pretty good to make the wheels anyways. I'm pretty darn sure. Uh, let's go over here. I do need some wood, and I need stone. So stone, and where's that wood? And the wood. So we can just go like this, and... Oh, no. I needed that end <laughs> What did you do that for? Uh, and the nine left there. All right. Because I thought I was in my inventory, and I just wanted to shift it down. Anyhow, let's... Um, Let's go make some more crushing wheels, shall we? And then I don't think I need anything to reset it. It just resets. There you go. That's a lot faster than what it was before, eh? Now it doesn't, it's not so painful. There we go. That reset. Now we can do another set. And like I said, we got to do this. Uh, six times. So this is number two. Alrighty. Reset. Glad I don't have to reset it on my own. That's so nice. Alright. Back at it. Here's number three. Beautiful. Now, I was thinking about layouts, layouts, and I was like, oh, well, should I do a, like a layout like I did with the one at the back? Oops. Um, and I think the answer to that is uh, no. Because of the simple fact that it would be too long to do it, like, horizontally as to oppose vertically. And it's all because of the way you have to remove material and put it in the next one, right? So that's number four. And so I think I'm just going to have to stick with vertical um, in this uh, next one, which is okay. Um, it, it eliminates a lot of belt work, which I kind of don't mind, but I think seeing all the items go around your map is pretty cool. So this should be number five. Yeah. So here we go. Last set. Last set. Uh, let's get over here. Perfect. Now, that's done. Now we got all the crushing wheels that we're ever going to need for a while, I'm assuming. Uh, hopefully. All right, so we're going to kind of work backwards on this. Um, so let's start off with uh, these crates. I know I have some crates in here. Oh, it would be here. I have to type that crate. Uh, yes, because I just need single ones. So, okay, so one of each. And it, uh, one thing I find that's really annoying about this one in particular mod is every time you leave, the inventory leaves here and, and goes into your inventory instead of back into the system, which kind of sucks, but that's fine. I'll deal with that. Um, so this is how we plan on setting everything up. So we're going to have sand, or wait, dust, sand, and gravel. Now, um, we need a chute. I uh, probably don't have any. We probably never made any, right? So let's go back to create. 
Now, I think just the normal shoot will be fine. Uh, I don't think we're going to need the mix four. That's kind of nice. All right. Oh, I did it again. I should have hit that stupid little X. I don't know why. I was right there. I was thinking about it. So now, um, we got some wood here. Let's try to build up. There's going to be the chute. So, chute's going to be here. The wheels are going to be there. Put the wheels in my inventory. So, I'm going to have one here and one here. And then I'm hoping this chute will fill, will put it in there. Pretty sure it does. And one cool thing about the chute is you can click on it and you can make it in glass walls. And you can see the items go through and if they're stuck in there or whatever, right? So we're hoping that's just going to be the gravel setup. Now, the, what is it, the sand over here is going to be... Similar, except we'll have two of them. So let's go up. So we'll have, uh, I think it just needs a single space, right? Just like that one. And then we can go this, this, that, that. I think it would look better if I put another space. I think so. I think it would look a lot nicer. So let's bring it up one more. You big tired on oh, mind. I'm gonna have to go up there and I'm just building blocks all over the place now. Alright. Let's get rid of these. They're not part of the plan. There you go. And then we got those crushing wheels. Go down here. And I want to put a chute here. Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Can I do like a double chute? Would that look nice? Could that... Uh, I think I'd do something like that. Probably only needs the one. You know? But uh, for, for looks sakes, then I should have kind of done that with that one. But anyways, whatever. Um, let's get rid of that. Thank you. And this. Perfect. All right. So there's the gravel. This is sand. And you can see what I'm saying, like, this is going to be long. So if I were to put this on the ground, it would have taken up a lot of my uh, real estate here. So we'll have to uh, make do, right? So let's do this a little bit differently this time. So it's just uh, one up from this one. Uh, like this. Let me go two up. I think that's what it was. Like this. Does that look right? That looks right. So these two are there. Oh, I forgot to put a shoot here. Alright, so I'm going to have to make a couple more shoots. There we go. At least I don't have to run around for stuff anymore. I can just like press a button and I'm like right there in my inventory. It's beautiful. So beautiful. Alright, so that one's there. Let's... uh. Jump up here. Let's put your wheels. Uh, I'd probably want to go down a little bit. Just to make sure I'm putting them in the downwards position. All right, so there's two, but now I got to go up a little bit more, right? Because we need uh, one more. That right, will be the last set of crushing wheels. There we go. And then I'm going to need actually one more set of shoots. That's, uh, that's cray cray. All right. Let's get down a couple here. And then we'll make them glass. Uh, 
and then I think that's pretty good. I think we're good. The only thing left we got to do is uh, feed them cobblestone. So, to do that, I think we're probably going to need, like, quite a few of these cobblestone generators. Um, ooh, I'd, I, I would say at least one each. I guess we could probably get away with, right? And then we'll just let slow trickle over time kind of kind of thing. That way we don't have to deal with 10 million items coming in all at once. I think that would be a good plan. Very good plan. So I do have these extra ones here. So I'm going to go and uh, loot these. We got two here. Uh, did I make any more in my storage? Uh, I did not. All right, so what do we need for these? I am actually just missing a block of coal. Can I do that? I can do that. Isn't that awesome? There. Okay, so now I got the three. Now, I'm pretty sure I had a bucket of lava in here already. And then we're going to need a couple more buckets, I think. Um... How many? Six in total. Because two each, right? Three lava and three three of the other one. So let's go get that. I need three water. One, two, three. We know where we can get lava. We can get it back here, right? One, two. So there's our buckets of lava. Now we just got a pillar all the way up here. And uh, put in the cobblestone generators. And those will start generating cobble. And I don't think I'm going to hook them up yet. I won't put a chute underneath them right away until I get these things spinning. And then I'll put the chute underneath them to get them doing what they're doing. Um, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I think they're just going to build up in the chute, and they won't actually get crushed, right? So let's uh, let's get up here. And what's really nice about these things is, is they don't uh, they don't require power. So all you have to do is uh, lava in that. Make sure you put it on cobblestone, right? There you go. That's just going to slowly generate us cobble. We'll pick that up. And then we'll do that to every single one of these. I'm going to go all the way up to the top. Place a block. Place that. Do this. Cobblestone. Now, I didn't see if there were any upgrades for this whatsoever. Um... I'm kind of hoping I didn't lose a piece of wood in there, but if we did, we did. Uh, oh, no, I got 41 still, so we're good. We are good. Picked it all up. So let's put that down, put this here, not there, and cobblestone. And let's go back down. Now we have the daunting task bringing power to these things. <laughs> now, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, is, 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 I got power coming over here. So we'll direct it to the first one here. We'll spread it out three ways. We'll do a small stem here, a small stem there. And then since the rotation is important, I'll go up from that rotation and up from that rotation. And I'm kind of hoping chain gears might do the thing. Uh, I'm like right on the edge. Why didn't I just build that in like one more? Uh. <laughs> here's, here's the disgust of me thinking, oh, am I going to have to go push all that back just a little bit to make all this make? Oh, probably. <laughs> Probably, you know, that OCD crap is uh, is just horrible, man. Horrible. 
That's fine. I'll, I'll figure that out at another time. Probably exactly what I'm going to do is, is probably that. So let's uh, stop babbling and uh, find where our power is. So it's directly actually facing that way. That is so awesome. So awesome indeed. And then I think it would be smart to branch it out this way. So I'm just going to go get rid of this now. And then knowingly that I'm going to have to... <gasps> that was close. That I'm going to have to uh, do this. I'm glad I don't die when I go off the edge. There you go. Alright, so now that's how we're going to bring power in. So let's go get a bunch of shafts. Because we know that's what we're going to need. So back to create. Uh, I made a lot of shafts earlier because friggin' I was tired of making the uh, cogs and all that stuff. So, all right, so we got power going this way. And uh, one wall, right? Yeah. Then we're going to want to put some gear boxes on that. Don't have any, but I can make some. Let's make the three that I can for now. So I know I'm going to need one on here, right? That's going to send directional power both ways. Actually, that's not what I need. This is what I need. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to send power that way or that way. So what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Um, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, what should I do? I can send the power sideways, right? Which is, I'm going to do it like that. Okay? And then, this one here, I'm going to make it an upper. Let's uh, get out here. Like this. Then we'll come up like that. You're going to need another gearbox here. It's going to have to be an upper gearbox. And it's going to have to face like this. So that way we get a thing on both sides, right? Now, here's where the fun part happens. Because they both go spin off the directions, one of them is going to have two gearboxes and one of them is going to only have one. So I guess we're going to do the whole spine right up the middle thing. I think that would probably just be easier instead of just doing like this and like that. Because there's no way I'll get directional power to turn without using a gearbox, right? And a gearbox changes rotation speed, rotation, and uh, I don't want to do that. Uh, there's no way that I'll turn crap either, so... All right, let's make some more. Let's make some more stuff here. Uh, I'm sure I don't need that. That can go in there for now. And same with that. And that lots of shaft. So let's make uh, as many as we can, I guess, really, because I'm gonna need a bunch of gearboxes here. Uh, three. That's because I'm probably out of those, right? Yeah. Who would have guessed? Ah. Let's go get some loggies. Would have never guessed. 
Ah, oh, there's a guy over there. He's visiting. Nice of you to visit. There we go. Let's get some andesite. I don't know how many of them I threw out here, but I threw quite a few. Hopefully this lasts us a little while, because we seem to go through them eh, pretty quick, right? But the end result will be worth it, because uh, we're going to have an awesome looking factory. That's going to be making all kinds of really cool stuff, so... All right, it's already looking pretty sweet over here. All right, let's go back to my crafting. We'll throw those inside. Those two. And then let's make some gearboxes. Now I got 26. That's perfect. Probably way more than what I'm going to need for now. For now. Uh, damn it. I'm in my wood. Oh well. Don't tell me I used it all. Uh, hard to believe. Alright, let's go up. Oh no, I had to do this side too, right? So which side gets a double gearbox? We'll put one here. And one here. And then we gotta hook up a okay, so you're going the right way. That means you got to go that way. So you get the double gearbox set up. Okay. And like this, like this. Okay, this is where I put in one of these. Let's jump up. Put that gearbox here. Gearbox here, gearbox here, and pipe there. Yeah. All right. Not bad, not bad. All right, so let's get down from here. Without dying. Okay. Okay, so that's, I'm going to put this in here because uh, I don't want to be falling down here all the time. There we go. So now we got the two done. Those are working. Working at some pretty high speeds too. That's, that's, that's fun. I mean, I should go get the shoot now. Shoot. And I should put that shoot up in there. Since I got that one done, then at least I'll be making sand, right? And then we'll test out if this thing works or not. Well, apparently it did because I got that. Let's, uh... I need to see now there's cobble in there waiting to get grinded. And then we should see... Sand fall down here eventually. And then hopefully it goes into this crate right here. That would be ideal. Totally ideal. All right, let's go and start hooking up this one. All right, so this one's got to have a vertical gearbox. Uh, no, I want to do a just a gearbox because I want to bring it out, right? Just like I did with the other one. Let's... Uh, Go make at least nine of those into vertical gearboxes. I think that would be smart. And since we're dealing with wood, let's do this. All right. So there's one. Let's jump up. Uh, one more by the looks of her. Let me do a vertical gearbox like so. Gearbox. 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 Bath. 
Done. You are complete. Awesome. And those can stay there. Now, let's put the chute here. Slap this on there. So, are we not... Oh, look at that wheel. It's not going the right way. Why are you guys... Oh, because of the gearbox in between. I know why. I know why. And crap's falling out. Shouldn't be falling out. Anyways, let's uh, fix one problem at a time. Here. One problem at a time. So this needs to be a gearbox. A vertical one. Doesn't matter which one it fixes. There, now that's going to change. Okay, now we're getting... Okay, so this has to be... Reversed. All right, so um, we got a little bit of a, a dilemma. <laughs> well, it's not really a dilemma. It's just like change, change, change of like partial plans. Like, so these plans are going to continue. This almost gives me a headache and wants me what makes me want to throw up. No, <laughs> I'm just barking. I'm just gonna. Um. So dust, dust, you look at dust and we say, how do we get dust? Well, you can put out a piece of dust and you can hammer it out. You can do the conventional way of hammering it yourself. Or there's the bloody chicken. Now, those are the only ways to get dust in this game. They completely removed the grinding of automatic dust. They're forcing you, taking you by the hand and dragging you over to the chickens. Now, why? Why would they do that? <laughs> okay, so um, let's look at sand and gravel. And we'll just let those go for now, and then maybe I might, since there's only two of them, put them here instead, and then have the production line come down this way of what I want to do with it. So, anyways, let's let's let, let, let's have a look. Let's have a look. What can we do with with sand? Well, in the the sieve, because we want to sieve this, right? Probably random armor trim. Do we care about random armor trim? Or do we just do this for the the prismarine and because you get it here too, right? I'm just gonna get an overload of other things too as well. Okay, so we we'll do it like that, just in case we want the armor trim for something else. Um, this will have to go into a smelting line, and then the rest can kind of go into a storage drawer system. No smelting required. Now, the gravel... Um, what changes here? Is it just an ingot of gold? Oh no, the uh, the ingot, yeah, just the ingot, ingot of gold. And here it's just the stone pebbles. So if you're on diamond, you're only gonna get the deep slate pebbles. Okay. So we're probably better off with the, the diamond mesh. And then we'll have a lot of these going to get smelted. Uh, no. 
what do we do with these? Because we can... Can we... No, we can just compact that crap. And then smelt it. This here... Um... You can re-crush it to possibly triple your ore. Get nuggets of experience and deep slate back. Depending on, like, it might probably might be like cobblestone. Um, do we want to? Re well, we have the extra crushing wheel, so I could obviously resend everything we have back into a crushing wheel system. So this is plausible, and we can like ore double at the same time. I think that would be a good idea since we're not using the other the other crushing wheels yeah all right so that's what we're going to do we're going to move this over here so that way we have this nice long production line to deal with the sand and the gravel all right so if you're wondering why my bed is up here Sometimes there's bed bugs when I don't sleep and they jump in my bed, but I want to see if uh, they can jump in my bed when it's way over here. And this might be a little bit of a, a way around me being able to AFK and not lose my bed when, uh, when they come here. So I guess let me go and do all of that. I uh, feel sad having to remove all this, but... It's all good. It's all good. Plays out. Plays out well. So let me do that. And I shall be back. Alright. So now we got all this back way over here. And it looks good. I put these casings around it. So it looks all really nice. Towery like. Um, now they're all running again. And let's see what we can do here. So I made an extra sieve. And I took my emerald generator that I had made from way over there and I'm going to bring it over here uh, probably going to be more useful here than over there so I probably made these what an even number across of course I did of course I did right can't put it on an uneven <sighs> <laughs> well there's no way I'm rebuilding it for that so screw that crap um, because, yeah, these have to be side by side, and my generator's got to be in the middle, because that's what's going to be giving power to both sieves. Yeah. Now, is that where we want it, though? I don't think so. I think that's going to be too close. I think that's going to be too close. Because we got to pull these items out of here, right? So let's kind of like work on that. We can get both of them to come onto one belt. Uh, no. Because they got to go to different belts. All right. So how do we do this? Um, let's just kind of like mark it out on how items will come down here. They should stay on this this plane. So maybe come out here like this instead. And then we can turn into it. But then it's gotta be the same way on the other side too, right? And we turn into it. And then you're going to have like one here. See this uneven space thing is screwing me over. Ugh. This one would be the easier one to move over. Probably gonna have to do that in order to make this to work. All right, so after moving it over, it looks a little bit better. It's probably gonna be a little bit more helpful. So, uh, how do we do this? 
Now, I ain't moving this anymore, so I might have to put this down a bit, depending on how how this works. Um, let's start by how are we gonna design the belts? Now the belts come like this. All right, so I would have like one belt starting underneath to here, and then one to here to here. But then again, I don't know if you can put a a thing on there. I don't think that's gonna work the way I want it to work. Thinking. But that's not gonna work. All right, let me um, let me think about this. Oh, how many of this? Uh, let's put them down here. So. Give myself some room here. Got some room to work with. Uh, we can bring them maybe in like this and like that. Right. Because I got to do a small turn one way or another, right? So, like, Something like this, and then maybe have something here that pushes down in there. Uh, even then, what else do we got for create here? Because uh, that's not a create object, right? So... Uh, so they have like a, this is like the closest thing to a hopper that they have, but it doesn't really pull items out. It does kind of push them into something else though, but if only if it accepts it, it doesn't force it in. Unless what we do is we, um, oh yeah, I can't use pipes yet. That's what I wanted to use. This is why I got to use create is because I can't use pipes yet. I don't have the, the things we need in order to do that. Uh, okay. Okay. So we're just going to have a barrel here and it being hoppered into a barrel. And then not even a barrel, another, another drawer. And then it can go directly into here. I think that would be the best. All right, so let's let's think about how we're gonna set that up. So I could use two belts here, and then that there like that. Use my brain. Use my brain on the fly. All right, McFly. So we should be able to put a one here, one here. And this one goes here to say here, because then I can put a chest here and then a hopper underneath or a pipe, right? Like that doesn't matter at that point. The pipe it matters because of these things here, because I don't have a filter for my pipes yet. So that's why the whole dilemma of why I have to use create. Let's make some more belts. Probably gonna have to go put more in the in the thing there. Okay, so that's that's good. And then I can put a brass funnel on that one. 
which I don't have on me. I have one. And I got some sand. So let's put that here. Only that. That works good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I can, I like this. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Okay, so... I have to have the same thing. Like this. Two belts here. I think I put these on the wrong side though, but it doesn't really matter. And that was in front, right? Yeah, we're we're okay. Then I could just take that one away. And then we got oh that was one too far. One too far. There we go. Okay, so that's that's the plan, that's the plan, that's the plan. And then I'll just have to get some more brass for that. Which is this one right here. Oh, these rose gold things. This is going to kill me, man. This is like redstone right now is absolutely killing me. Like my biggest, biggest problem right now is freaking redstone. And it's driving me up the wall. And everything that I need, like... Is always revolving around bloody redstone. And this is the worst part about it all. This was all supposed to solve my freaking redstone problem. And it's not. It's not even close. Because I have to go a completely different route. In order to get my bloody redstone. <sighs> okay. Alright. Alright, so after much resource gathering later, <laughs> I had like many hours. Anyways, um, I think we should be okay to continue on to do what we wanted to do here. Now, I, in the meantime, I have been kind of like planning this out, planting more more dirt around. Um, just to go show you how long it's been, right? Um, so here's here's kind of the idea. We're going to have the materials being sifted, right? from both sides they're gonna get hoppered into a um a chest of some sort now i do i do i do i did i also i turned um all of our chests into diamond chests i just made a whole slew of them here are all the old chests um now if i put a chest under there i'm not going to be able to access it and i do want to access that so let me see if we have a barrel. I think I yes, I knew I had a, a bigger barrel. Okay, and uh, we'll we'll just put this here as an example, right? Uh, and I want that to be like so. All right, so the materials are gonna get hoppered into here. Then we're gonna have them come out onto a belt. That belt is gonna have a. Let's put this back on create. Put a lot of thought into this too, you know, and how, how we should set all this up. Um, we're going to use one of these tunnels. Uh, yeah, the brass ones. Because in this one we can use... Oh, I got to go uh, burn a little bit more, do I? Uh huh. All right. Let's go and grab some down here. We've been using it for, um, to make more dirt. So, kind of understandable that there's none left in there. We'll just put a brand new block of each. And I think that'll be good. We'll just toss you guys in here. Beautiful. Actually starting to get a nice little backlog of wood there, which is great. All right, so we'll let that smelt. Actually, I needed a few of it, so... That's why I shouldn't be running too far away. Can't access that from over there. 
Ah, uh, should be good, right? All right, let's find out. Um, now I do need a few of these. One, two. Let's start off with four for now. That way, I don't overmake. I don't overmake them, right? Oh, I hate when this this mod. Oh, take that. And that. I don't want that in my inventory. Well, actually, maybe the cobblestone, but... Damn it. Bobby. And then let's go back to create. Just because I like having all the menu stuff open, I'm never sure what I'm going to take, right? <clears throat> May as well sleep right quick, too, so that way it's daytime. Alright. Here we go. So, this... This is going to be a funnel. Uh, I guess I can't put a funnel down until I put bells. Fine. 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 Then we will do belts here like this. Like that. And then I want belts to come over here like this. And go down. Yeah. So let's get some shaft. We need lots of shaft. Glad I um, sent more of that to go get cooked, though, because uh, now the only problem with me doing this, well, actually, it's not that much of a problem, really. You know, everything is, like, right there for power-wise. So it wouldn't really be hard to bring something up and then just plop power into this section. All right. Yeah, well, we'll deal with that later. Let's just plan and we'll do worry about uh, that later. And then that will be the idea of where that's going to go. Now, do I have any belts? We don't. But can I make a few? Uh, I know I had them over here. All right, I can make a few. A few is better than none. So this and that, this to that. Now if I put a funnel there, you're going to see how it has two doors now. So now we'll be able to take a filter and we'll be able to put one on this side and one on this side. Uh, actually, I think all we need is one filter because we can just put the ore filter on this side and whatever ores are going to go straight through and whatever's a, not an ore will go over here i think that will be a good plan yeah and then i just need the one filter all right so uh this kind of sucks that i gotta i gotta put it in the ground like this though but do i but do i i don't i don't i can put it above ground I don't know, it'll just look the same, I guess. Just it looks different. I like because I want I like to put all these casings uh, around these things. Oh. Sorry, I I didn't want to pick one of those up. Yeah, I like the casings that go around here. So I wanted to like see them, but that's fine. We'll uh we'll do something a little bit different, I guess. Alright, alright, let's 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 keep going here. So here I want that going into three more. Now, which way are the belts? Are, they're probably all going to have to turn this way, right? So, let's grab six belts like this. Then we're going to go like that and like this. Uh, those aren't belts. Let's go get some more dried kelp. We're gonna need more. Lots of belt action coming up here. Alright, let's just toss that in there. I don't know how I keep getting extra, but anyways, um... Belts. That's what we're looking for. Uh... Oh, uh, yeah, I'll be good. We'll start with that, right? Then we'll come over hither. 
And we'll go you to you, you to you, you to you. What did you think of it? I could have just put this one big belt, right? All right, so let's do that. Since um, I'll put a shaft here because whatever shaft power comes from, say I like I put the power to this one, okay, or I put it right here, which would probably be really intelligent. Um, because then hopefully that would turn that way and this one would turn that way. I'll have to test that out. And if it does, this one turning will make all of these turn. So that would be that would be great. <clears throat> so we'll put this back. And then the idea is that we would have three funnels here. These all work together. Okay, so one thing would go in here and it should get split up between all of these and then we could separate the ores because you can only have four different types of material in one basin at a time and i think if we do three that gives us 12 and i don't think there's 12 ores um i think there's like nine or something like that or 12 10 so it's it's an odd number even number anyway so we should be fine um then this, this, and this should technically... Okay, that's how I'm getting the extra cobblestone. Um, these should be basins. So if I go into here, these technically should be these. And then if I put... Uh, do I have any... Don't. I've just got those ones. We'll make these ones. They're cheaper, and it's only to accept items. So if we... Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Okay, so we should be able to do this. So that will accept the items that it's going to be put into here. <clears throat> I'll probably need another set. And then these are just going to spew out. Oh, no, I'm going to have to put um, brass ones there because I'm going to have to put uh, filters on them saying which items I want out. Otherwise, the items are just going to kind of pass right through. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's make another brass, another two, because I'm pretty sure I had one in here. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do the belts first. <clears throat> Uh, so we'll come over this way. We'll bring the belts. Oh, that was really close around. And I think I'm going to have to bring the belts like this. Even farther out, actually. I know that's all going to have to get taken out, but, uh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to have one belt end here and one here. Oops, I'm going to have to turn you. There we go. Then let's put in a belt from here. Nice. To there. And I want to put on these. I know it already has spouts, but it's just going to spit out all the ingredients, and it's just stupid. Um, is that what I did over here, too? I just want to make sure. Yeah, see? Because if I didn't put, like, the filter on there, on that, it would just spill out all the items. I was, went through all that crap already, so... Let's not go through it again. Alright, so now... These are going to be crushing wheels. Now, I might actually move these over by one. So... Crushing wheels would be here. Think. Yeah. So let's get those out. I need uh, two of them. So crushing wheels would be okay. Well, so these could go on the ground then. Come to think of it. So let's put one here. And one here. 
and then all of our ores are just going to come into here. Like so, right? I'm assuming I only need to bring the item to here. <clears throat> and it would get sucked in, right? And then I would have to do another belt system out that way. Okay. It's coming along pretty good. It's coming along pretty good. So we want here and here. Why do you do this to me? Okay, come back out here. We do this. Maybe because I'm shifting. Shifting. And it could be. Could be. And then I'm going to want one on this side. Yeah, it probably is. There we go. And that's going to have to get powered. It's going to have to get powered. Yeah, see, I wasn't shifting that time, and we should be good. Okay, so, uh, item shouldn't be going all the way over there. Why do that? Um, oh, that went underneath, didn't it? Of course it did. Okay, so we'll just go like that. Perfect. Uh, even that's wrong. Even that is wrong. Let's put the, that there, that there. This actually has to turn. Uh, this belt to that belt. That belt to that belt. There we go, now that's right. That is right. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Now we just got to get power to all of this. Okay, and then down here was going to be like a smelter, right? Uh, well, I'll put like a another crate, I guess. Uh, I can put one of those chests. I can put a diamond chest here. That's what I can do. I can put a diamond chest there. Just so that way we have a good backlog of stuff. And I'll just put that there. It should be fine. Ores should be able to go here. It'll be the crushed ores. So anything that gets crushed goes here. And then stuff it on those chests, right? I do. And then that other one will come here. And then this will be the output of, oh, maybe not so far out because my smelter system is going to go here, right? So maybe we just need that to go here like that. That's good. Yeah, I think I like that. That's a little bit better. This one doesn't need to be like retardedly. Long. This is just to get our items from whatever doesn't need to be crushed can go here. And then we can find some way to get them to our system afterwards, which is something I'm going to have to revamp. So we're probably going to jump into, I don't know if I'm going to leave this run all the time. I might just stop it here and there like, um, and let it back up or well, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, the so sand can actually go into here too. So we can at one point just remove the hoppers and then this will just back up and actually we could probably just stop it here. That would probably be the better thing to do. Stop it here and that way this doesn't overflow and shoot items all over the place. And then, yeah, that's how we'll pause the system when we're not using it. Um, until we get like this all fully up and running and then say if we're running low on like of iron or whatever well, we can just start it up and and only have one side run or whatnot right so we can make we can work with it right all right so now enough babbling let's get some power to this bad boy i think i got just about everything done uh there is one thing missing come to think of it go back to create wish i could save these uh these things all right, we do need these things now. 
I'm powering something, it should probably go like this, this, and like this. And we'll all come here, and then hopefully, maybe I can have something come up here and power that like that. All right, so let's see if we can get all this running in the right directions. <clears throat> Usually, that's the challenge, right? All right, so what do we got here? We got a normal shaft. So we could put a vertical. That won't work. That won't work. So we're gonna have to go over here. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So I know what we're gonna do now. Uh, instead of using gearboxes, I have uh, an epiphany. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these encased chains. And oh, let me go back to my actual crafting thing. There you go. Let's make a. Uh, I don't know. Got six of them. We'll use those for now. Okay. Uh, so, this side, I think I'm going to leave as it is. And then just kind of like. Can I split those? I can. Now, which way did that turn? Uh, and turn the other way. Just like that. Perfect. So if I put a shaft here and I that's oh, was there already a shaft there or maybe I just put one there? I don't know. So there. That turns it that way. Now I just gotta worry about this side, right? Uh let's put those floor pieces back. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it from the other side. Uh, so I turned these off for now because they were just spewing items all over the ground. Um, so go from here. Okay, I can see. Ah. Oh. Oh. Okay, I managed to put a shaft down there. I'm going to have to remove these. Not where I want them. Uh, maybe I can remove some more flooring. Uh, maybe that'll help. Nice. Okay, I got it. Alright, so I just need... Why? Why? I was looking at that. Being so retarded. Alright, let's get... Let's see here. Give me that. All right, now if you use a, uh, <clears throat> maybe I should have done it from the other side. Honestly, because maybe the rotational shaft that was right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that makes a little bit more sense. Let's walk around, walk around. Yeah, it makes a little bit more sense. So if we take a gearbox here, bam, this will probably change rotational crap down at my other place, but that's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind. So these are probably going to be rotating a different way. So I'm going to have to probably place a, a vertical gearbox here to counteract the, uh, the motions, but we'll deal with that another time, right? So let's grab. <laughs> there we go. I got one. Perfect. And where's our verticals? Right. Here. Oh, yeah, I didn't want a vertical. I wanted uh, chain casing, right? And then that way we can just go like this. Flip it around. If I just put it on here like this. No, you're not going to be nice like that. There we go. And here. So there. Now we got those two things going the right way. We've saved on some gearboxes. And these don't look that bad, right? There we go. So now that's good. And for here, what do we got here? No shaft there. But if I put a gearbox in, what rotation do we get? 
the wrong rotation. So, um, and these chain things can only go one way. They can't go two ways. So it's like I can't like just put one here and it transfers it there, right? <clears throat> That's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Um. What do we do here, yeah? What do we do? Okay, let's just keep going. What do we got down here? We got a belt that's here. This has got a turn. And that's got a turn up there. Okay, so. So, so, so. That means we have to have something here and then maybe a vertical gearbox here. Like so. That way we can just get power up here. And like that. And let's go here, 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 here. Oh, not there. Um this one here has to be a vertical gearbox like that and this one like that just to hide the the doodads then yeah those would be ready to crush whenever and then down here down here Could, could turn this, right? And maybe just do that. Uh, this and this. I would rotate that. And I could just do that and it's hidden and it looks okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. So now we got that dealt with. Now there's just this thing over here. I could maybe do something similar here too as well. Let me just pick this up. Let me just put shaft here and here, right? And then I could just go, just got to turn the right way, right? I think that should be fine. Doesn't look too horrible. Things are going the same way. Alright. Now we got rotational power here. I can't do that to there because that will push that belt that way. And everything here has to be kind of like reversed, right? <clears throat> so... So, so, so. I'll get off of that. And then I gotta worry about getting power to these afterwards. So, I might put a gearbox here. I like to experiment with the gearboxes first and see which way they're gonna go. Obviously, you're going the wrong way. If I put a gearbox there, and then a half here. Yeah, that doesn't really matter, does it? Tired. Um, I know. Oh, wrong one. No, so I was just like, I shouldn't be eating the belt. And if I did a double gear box, aha, that's good. That's good. That's what I was originally gonna do, and I don't know why I did that. Oh, and unfortunate, there's that. Unfortunate. So. What we can do, though, is we remove that. Go here. Unfortunately, I can put another gearbox. And then, oops. Grab this belt and put it there. It ain't pretty, but she works, man. It ain't pretty, but she works. 
So that's fine. Um, can I do... Take that off for now. Take that off for now. Let's get rid of this. Uh, this and this. I'll put the... That back there. And we'll do something like that. Okay, I can guarantee you that the items are going through. So let's get power to this bad boy right here and right here before I do anything. So I could do. I could do. Just to see how it's going to act. A gearbox here. Alright, well, she's crushing the right way. Then if I put that there, and then another gearbox here, will that go the right way? Damn, they are too. That's, 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 that's awesome. <laughs> That's so awesome. All right. All right. All right. Let's, um, Ugh. all right. Now let's put some filters in here because I think that's all that's really missing before I can kind of let the system loose, right? Uh, nothing else in here. All right. So let's go do some filters. Where do we get some filters here? Uh, maybe if I just type filter. Okay. Attribute filter, list filter. Um, how hard is it to make the attribute one? Need a plushie? Really? Do I... Okay, I got wool. Brass nuggets. Is that all we're really missing? Seriously? It just requires wool? Okay, that's good. That I'm really happy about. Okay, so. Let's, 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 let's. Grab some of this. Throw it in there. Oh, I need a mesh. Uh, for that one, I want this. The other one, I think I was going gold. But I'll go and I'll double check that one later. All right, let's put that in there and that in there. What are you going to give me? Well, I know you're going to give me lots of crap. I should just go grab, grab like a stack and throw a stack in there. But really, I just needed one of these. All right, so... We grab this filter and we go here and we go like that and we go was added iron ore chunk oh, yeah but I want to see if there's like the whole thing show list. Allow list. Allow list. Shift for summary. Items pass only if they have all of the selected attributes. Okay. Okay. That's that's good. So added or let's go add attribute. Okay. So now we got one attribute added. So if it's just an or chunk from here, it should let it go through. Uh, well, let's find out, right? Okay, so that should be on this side. Uh, okay, so now if I grab a grab a funnel, I need one more of those funnels. Oh, I had them on me. So I'm definitely going to need a funnel here because that's what's going to be the automatic takeout, right? And then... 
I go with pipes, pipes would probably be nicer. So let's go with pipes and this. And then put that there. Now. I got a bunch of crap. I got all this crap. So the ore should technically go straight. Oh, but I should set sh uh, set these ones up first, right? Um, so let's just take those off. And we'll open that. So that can all drain. We'll put all that in there. All right. So now that's out of power. Okay, so in order to feed this power, I was thinking just botany pots and do like a row of them here and them all feed just wood into there and even if it does throw a sapling in saplings are burnable so um i think that will be the plan for here body pots aren't that expensive and we're getting clay from this little system over here so that's going to be a bonus all right and then then there was just the stuff to deal with that out of here too, eh? Uh, I forgot about that. That's okay, because that's a pretty easy fix. Is that in line with that? It is. So really, technically, we could do something like this. That comes down to here, maybe. Even then, could probably put it right into the ground. From there. And then over here like this. Really? All right, thank you. And then uh, I'm going to need another one here, though. Yeah. Uh, I know how to fix that, too. Um, crap, right? So this one to there. Uh, probably take that out because I don't like the look of it. I think it looks dumb. And then this one over here is being driven by that. So if we can just remove this, right? We'll put a shaft here anyways. Ugh. And then we'll just have them all connected into one. So you should be able to reach all the way down to you. And then that's that. Then here. Uh, that's fine. Do I need more of those chain things? I don't. But we can go back here. I'll toss that back in, that back in, this back in. Don't need those. And then these chain thingamabobbers. We just need two. Awesome. Uh, fill those up. There we go. And then I can put another brass funnel on the side with a filter in it for these two things. And it'll just plop out those two things over here and put them oops and put them into our system which is eventually going to go into our system right so god darn we need three more filters and i need to get some botany pots or some fuel for that what do i got uh we got coal do we have coal what is this scorcia Oh, we do. Uh, let's grab this charcoal that I have here. Oh, screw it. Let's just throw it all in like that. We'll just put charcoal in you. Um, this thing is awesome. 256. I'll probably make more of these if I need them. Um, they were very redstone heavy to make, though. But uh, I think it's going to be worth it to have that over here. Most definitely. All right, so now that's we're gonna make in power. That's doing that. Let's uh, said so we need more filters, right? By create, 
Let's go here. Back to Grange. And then I definitely want these because this will s just be less of a pain in the butt. Even then, these ones wouldn't be too bad either, right? Because if I just want to do a list of items, yeah. Just a list of items will be good. Alright, so what are we missing here for this filter? Uh, probably more wool. Yeah, probably more wool, right? So, string is an issue at the moment, so... Uh, let me go with more string. Alright, now after going to collect a bunch of string, I should be able to make these... Uh, these filters now. Just a little easier going this way. And this one, these ones I'll do by, um, oh yeah. Um, darn it. Man, I should have made just wool first. There we go. Let's make, uh, I don't know. Just in case I need more of these later. There are 13. Good old lucky 13. All right, back to create filter. I know I should just put them there. That's honestly. There we go. Um ah. one, two, three guaranteed because I need these three done, right? So let's put these here, one here, and then I need the first three pieces of ores. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I also have the gold one from over here too. Um, so that's gonna be <clears throat> sorry, that's gonna give me eleven in total, right? All right, so we want to do aluminum, copper, lead. And nickel. I'll put all those in this filter. Okay. Next filter, we'll go osmium, silver, tin, and zinc. Put that one in that one. And then, oops. This last filter will be uh, gold and iron. And then eventually when I get the other gold one, I'll just tag it onto this one here too. And we should do that. So technically, this should just work. Okay. <laughs> if, I, if I go put the uh, all this back in here, okay. This should just work if I put this funnel on. Here's the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see if I can automate create. Oh, I forgot to put a funnel here. Bam. Okay. That doesn't need uh, any specific filter, so. There we go. I got created. Oh, I'm going to have to grab these blocks out manually, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to have to put uh, filters on these. So I need three more filters. That's fine. That's fine. So I got the gold and stuff here anyway. So let's get uh, three more filters. Uh, one, two, three. And then we can put two in here, one in here. Uh, where's the filter? So we're going to want iron chunks or, or the ores to come out of there. And then that's it. Then we can put that filter there. Uh, unfortunately, I'm just throw the gold ones in there. Uh, can I just, oh yeah, I should be able to just throw these on the belt, right? Yeah. Oh, look at that. They get smelted and all the good stuff goes in there. Oh, I'm so excited. This is awesome. Beautiful automation, ladies and gentlemen. 
And things should get crushed pretty quickly, you know, like, uh... Other than me, I don't want to get crushed, but... The gold never went in there. Does it take two gold, or...? Oh, I don't want to be having complications now with that kind of stuff. Alright, so all the pebbles are going through. What else is happening here? Okay. It's not super fast, though, right? But then again, we're kind of going through a little bit of a backlog. Oh, how did you get in there? Are these ores that... Uh... What are you? Tin. Shouldn't you guys all... Oh, you went in like that. Okay, so... Let's take that off and that off. I'm going to end up getting... Okay. Can you stop for a moment? Put you back in, you in there. So that didn't work. I'm kind of disappointed. I really thought that these would have worked all together in conjunction and sent items through, right? But it didn't. It didn't. I'm sad now. Very sad. So if I just like... Oh, of course, right? Of course. And that's going to make a chunk. And that don't come out. So why don't that come out? on my filter. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> troubleshooting, troubleshooting. All right, so we got pretty much all the, um, the gist of what everything is going on, right? So what I'll do is in between episodes, I'll do the troubleshooting for this and figure out why this doesn't work and then come back with you and show you all what I did to fix it. Um, I'm pretty sure it has to do with the directions of the belts, to be honest with you. So I might have to do a little kajiggering to get this changed, but, um, hopefully not. Hopefully I can get this to work right and, uh, I won't have to change too much. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the episode, everybody. Peace, take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.